signal and blow the whistle. Gotcha. Put some lung in it because this glance is going to scatter rocks for acres. I don't want anybody in the danger zone. Okay. using enough fuse. You know, Skipper, he never wastes anything. Hey, Mary! Yeah? You want to watch this? Skipper's giving her the big blow. Sure, come on. Bartling? Yes. Too bad about Skipper. Yeah, one of my oldest boys. Good man. But isn't going to hold us up. We're going right ahead. We've got to expect those things. Jake, I'm sorry, but the company told me to cancel your contract. Oh, look, you can't. We... I'm afraid we can. Accident clause. Skipper would be alive right now if we hadn't tried to save time and wired instead of using fuses. Let's be honest, Jake. There's a possibility of getting speed with safety if you have the proper up-to-date equipment. And you just haven't got it. Well, if you'd let me finish this job, maybe I could get it. Sorry. I've already talked to Hanson. His crew moves in tomorrow. Guess that settles that. What are we going to do, Dad? I don't know. Two days before Christmas. Yeah. Merry Christmas. There are lots of people worse off than we are. Skipper. He didn't have a wife or kids someplace, did he? No. No, thank goodness for that. What's past is past. We'll go to Los Angeles and to Nellie Brown's Christmas party. And maybe something might turn up. Yeah. Finance company. Looking for our truck. We owe a couple of payments, you know. No, I'm not in the mood for Nellie's Christmas party this year. You're going. And what's more, you're going to cheer up. 
Besides, we haven't missed one of Nellie's get-togethers in years. And you'll enjoy seeing all the dynamite men. Yeah, maybe. Every year, someone turns up missing. We keep on hoping, but... Say, you know, we almost made it this year. Yeah. Equipment's loaded, Jake. What's the next step? Nellie Brown's boy now and wipe that sour look off your face. Skipper was a good man. He knew his business and was always ready to help a pal. That's a lot to say for a man when it's all over. And please, Lord, take care of him. Amen. Amen. All right, boys, come and get it. Jenny, you never look more beautiful. You're a dream, Jenny. Jenny, will you marry me? Mary Ellen is my play favorite. <laughs> sure, you power fellas always like the way I look, behind a lot of good fiddles. You're right, <laughs> If Jake don't get here pretty soon, there won't be anything left. Well, just so he gets that contract from Gibbons, Dad won't care whether he eats or not. Couldn't he wait till after Christmas to talk business? No, it was the only day Gibbons could be in town. He made a special trip to meet Dad. Oh. I'd love to help you out, Jake. But this tunnel project is the biggest job we've ever tackled. I put up a heavy guarantee to meet the deadline. If I don't do it, it'll wreck us all. Hank, I, uh, I hate to bring up friendship, and I wouldn't do it if I didn't know we could do the oh, job. you're putting me in a spot, Jake. What about your equipment? Oh, good equipment's important, I know, but in the long run, it's the know-how of the powder man and the dynamite job that counts, and who's got a better I'm record? I'm taking that away from you, but... Oh, give me a break, will you? Gee, it seems like I've been dogged by hard luck ever since I went broke in the building business. No, I'll never know. It made you go to a business you didn't understand. Well, I did it for Mary. I thought she ought to have a real home instead of the gypsy life we were leading. So I tied up all my dough, and then the freezing materials came, and... I found myself right back in the powder game with the poorest equipment I ever had. But... Jake, I'll give you the job. If you fall down on me, I'll break your neck. Oh, I won't, Hank. You know I won't. All right. Now, you report to the time of February the 1st. It'll be just right. I got a couple of jobs I can do between now and then. Good. Thanks, Hank. Thanks. Now you go on over to Nellie's. I've got a Christmas party. I've got to go to myself. Merry Christmas. Same to you, Jake. You know, all you have to do is clean up the little quarry job first, and then we report to the tunnel project. Wouldn't surprise me we'd net mm, three or four thousand on that. What a guy that Gibbons is. Red as fellow. Dad, either eat or talk. You can't do both. <laughs> yeah, settle down. <laughs> Johnny should have been here an hour ago. Mm -hmm. The train could be late. How's he doing in college? He doesn't write much. But I've had him home for ten whole days now. And he's going back, huh? He's done two years under the GI Bill. He's allowed four. Four years in the classroom, reading books. A grown man. You mean a powder man should learn about dynamite in the field? Oh, sure. Well, Johnny's not going to be a powder man. He's not going to be blown to bits like his father. No, he... He's going to be an engineer, and he'll be hiring men like you. Is that what he wants? That's what I want. Have a piece of cake. Want me to light a fire, Nellie? Yeah, go ahead. He likes to play with matches. <laughs> Why didn't you light it? Now watch this. Presto, change-o, alakazam. Thunder! What's the idea, Dunny? You could have blown down the fireplace. Oh, when I do a job, I know just how much powder to use. Gunner's one of the best precision men in the business. Oh, you guys like to blow your horn. Yeah, he's no better than anybody else in this room. Well, how would you fellas like to follow that up with a little bet? Depends. How much of a bet? Well, uh... Nelly, uh... You never did like little Otto standing here, did you? Yeah, he came with a lease. <laughs> well, I've got 50 bucks that says I can put this toe dancer on one foot without knocking him over. I'll take 20 of that. Take another soba. And I'll take 20. Okay, the bets are down. Now watch me. Oh, 
I don't like this one bit. We'll all be blown to smithereens. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe the kitchen would be a safer place for all of us. You stay right here. Yes, I'm... Hey, if this works, it'll be worth losing ten bucks. Well, you're going to lose. There we are. When the doorbell rings, Otto loses a leg. And topples over. Just relax, but keep away from that statue. Come on, boys. I think Jenny's ready to light the brandy on the plum pudding. Oh, <laughs> How about a little dance? Without music? If you're around, there's always music. Oh, and someone must have spiked that punch. I mean it, Mary. Funny. I've known you since you were in pigtails. I never thought I'd feel like this about you. Why, well, I'm a big girl now. Maybe you and me ought to get hitched. Why, Gunner, do you mean you want to tie yourself down to one woman and say goodbye to all your Saturday night pals? I'm serious, Mary. I like you, Gunner, but you'd better let me think about it. All right. I can wait a little bit longer. But how about give me a little something on account, huh? Well, all right, you fellas, pay off now. Uh, well, that sounds good to me. Oh, it's a fluke. No fluke about that at all. Bob, how are you? Uh, hey, what's the idea of slamming that door? What's the matter? That against the law now? That slam cost me fifty dollars. Well, wait a minute. Did it? It wasn't the blast that knocked that statue over. Sure it was. Let's have uh, it. Give me the money. Come on. Pay off. What do you think this is? Oh, how do you think this is? Mary. Oh, how's it going? You? I thought college slowed you down. No, not the college I went to. Didn't you bring a lot of clothes? Yes, a few. Say, you still gypsying around the country with Jake and the crew? You know me, the powder man's mall. Oh, sounds like fun. Why don't you try it sometime? Don't go giving Johnny ideas. Sorry, Nellie, I was only kidding. Wait a minute, Mary. Maybe she's got something there, Mom. You forget it. You want to get killed like your father, like Skipper? Skipper? You mean Skipper Corn? Skipper. Oh. Hello, Johnny. Hello, Gunner. <laughs> Come on, Mary. Let's get down to the photographer's studio and take our annual Christmas picture. See you later, Johnny. No, not yet, Ma. I, uh, I want to talk to you. You were right. I, I did bring a lot of clothes. I brought all of them. You see, I've decided not to go back to college. Johnny! Now, don't get excited. Just listen to me. Maybe I can't explain it. I don't know, but I just can't go back. Did, did you do anything that... No, Mom. It's just that I, I couldn't sit still in those classrooms. Oh, I know it isn't easy after four years in the Army, but a lot of the boys are sweating it out. Sure. And a lot of them weren't on demolition teams like I was. I'm hearing about things I've already done. The way I look at it is I'm a powder man like Dad was. If I'm going to learn any more about it, it's got to be out in the field. Say... With Skipper gone, Jake could use a man now. Maybe I can go out with his crew. And you'd pass up a chance to learn engineering just to be another powder monkey. Oh, I wouldn't call them powder monkeys, Mom. Not after what you know about them. I know they're a bunch of tramps who never have a dime. Never have families, never have homes. Why? So they can gamble with their lives every time they go out on a job. Well, if they didn't gamble their lives, we wouldn't have bridges or dams or skyscrapers. It's not bad leaving monuments like that behind. You're not thinking about monuments. You're going because of Mary. Now, you know that's not true. But she's Gunner's girl. She likes that gypsy life. She's not for you. What do you mean, she's Gunner's girl? Anyway, Mary has nothing to do with this. Oh, don't take it too hard, Mom. I've got to get it out of my system. Then maybe I'll go back to school. You'll never go back, Johnny. I, uh, I think I'll go ask Jake if I can have the job.
Take your hand away from there. Your hand is already down there. Oh. Now, don't anybody get nervous. There's going to be an explosion. I hate explosions, but it's got to be. Hey, that was Skipper's place. I know it. Can I take his place, Jake? Do you mean it? I mean it. Shoot it. Now, ready? One, two, three! Giraffe, you couldn't see her from here. See who? You're not making eyes at Jake, are you? Funny man. All right. Pay attention to your driving. You can't see her from here. No, but you uh, just gave me an idea. driving a dynamite truck and you pull a stunt like that and there won't be a piece to send home to mother. Oh, for the love of Mike. And another thing, don't be getting ideas about Mary. What do you mean ideas? Ideas. <laughs> I'm going to teach you a lesson. Didn't you see that dynamite sign on that truck? Well, what if I did? Just wait till I get out. All right. Are you out now? You bet I am. Ugh. No, you're not. Now you're out. Next time your friend sees that dynamite sign on those flags, you'll know what it means. You sure are fast with your mitts. Only when guys get wrong ideas. I'm not crazy about bouncing around these mountain roads after dark. Do you think we'll make the core before night? Well, that's up to Hard Rock. I don't mind him being careful, but sometimes I think his mother was scared by a turtle. <laughs> Smoke all you want when you get to the quarry. Right now, the wind might carry a spark. Yeah, I know. Try one of these. Thanks.
chap climb aboard. Get Hard Rock coughing and have to lock him out. Right. Help you out, Jake, but there just isn't enough dynamite here to do the job. It isn't going to hold you up, is it? Oh, no. You make out okay. Good. That slop again? What do you call it this time? Fillet Minion. Fillet Mulligan, you mean? You boys will have to start drilling right away. Folks worried it'll be held up. Well, maybe Gunner and I can take extra ships. Well, it depends on when Mary and Hard Rock get back with that new powder truck. You ready to go to town, Mary? All set. Get your coat, Hard Rock. Mm. You know what to do? Now, Dad, stop worrying. I'll see Mr. Romney at the finance company. Get the money for the new truck. Hard Rock will pick it up, load it with explosives, and I'll drive the coupe back. Is that plain enough? We've got to have that new truck or we can't do the Gibbons job. Well, we'll get it. You got the papers? Right here. Have to make another loan. Yeah. No insurance on the equipment we lost? They want your right arm to a short truck like that, and you can't blame them. Anybody want more stew before I leave? No. No, thanks. If we should have stayed with that truck. I could have gotten her downhill okay. Oh, nobody's blaming you. Come on, Hard Rock. Bye, Dad. And please don't worry. Bye, Mary. Bye, Mary. Bye, boy. Be, Be careful. careful. Okay. Need some help? I got a couple of men can handle drills. No, thanks. We like to do our own drilling. Are they bothering you? Well, yes. There's a construction outfit waiting on my doorstep for this granite. He'll get it. All right. Hey, what's 
the matter? The superintendent's a worry ward. Looks like we'll have to work late and start early. Yeah. <laughs> That's quite an act you put on there, son. Sounded like a turtle in an empty rain barrel. <laughs> I guess you ain't worked on no clodhoppers like them in quite a while. Hello, Hard Rock. No need to ask how you made out. I can see from your face that you didn't. I not only didn't get the loan for the new truck, but Romney threatens to attach the rest of our equipment unless we come up with a couple of payments. Oh, we're sunk, Hard Rock. Never mind, son. Here. Well, come along. Come along where? <laughs> sure glad it got me a shine. I didn't know it was going to come in handy. But Nellie always did like gents to have a shine on their shoes. Nellie? Mm-hmm. Nellie's got an nest egg. She wouldn't. We can try. Hello, Nellie. Well, hello, hello, Nellie. Hello there. Come on in, sit down. Thank you. you. I thought you were out at some quarry. But well, we had an accident, Nellie. A powder truck blew up. Blew up? Johnny. Johnny's all right. Oh, shucks, Nellie. Don't jump to conclusions. Nobody got hurt. Oh, thank goodness. I thought for a moment that Johnny... Oh, you worry too much about Johnny, Nellie? I keep thinking how he changed his mind so fast after he saw you. He'd still be in college learning to be an engineer instead of a powder monkey. Mary, you can make him change his mind again. You like that kind Just of life. Just a minute, Nellie. I had nothing to do with Johnny's decision. And as for liking that life, chipsing around from job to job and never knowing when someone's going to be hurt, never being able to settle down and live a normal life like other girls while you're wrong. I'd give it up in a minute if it weren't for Dad. Oh, never mind. Come on, Hard Rock, it's no use. What's no use? Well, we come here oh, to I'm ask Hard you. Rock, she's not interested. Interested in what? Now, hold on, hold on. I ain't gonna let Jake go to the dogs just because you two fillies have decided to have a cat fight. Sit down there, and you sit down. Well, I never know. Shut up now, the two of you, until I say what I've got to say. Jake's going to lose his Gibbons contract and his whole business, unless we can borrow him $1,000 to make a down payment on a powder truck and, and pay off some of the debts. Uh, and you came here to ask me for it? Well, if Dad goes broke, it'd be just fine with her. Johnny would be out of a job and he'd come home. Oh, so that's what you think. I'd let my own feelings stand in the way and turn my back on an old friend like Jake. Here. And you tell Jake if he needs more to let me know. I reckon I'll take care of this till you calm down a mite. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Nellie. You don't know how much this helps. Sure I do. And forget what I said. You know, after all, I am his mother. Oh, thank you, Nellie. Thank you. <laughs> well, when you can't tell what to do no more than a mule and a briar patch. <laughs> thank you, Nellie. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Did Romney give you the money? No, Nellie did. Nellie? It's a long story, Dad, but anyway, we got it. Hard Rock's picking up the new truck and the powder, and he'll be in sometime tomorrow. Well, how in the world did Nellie know anything Come on, about I'll it? tell you why we're getting supper ready. That was a good dinner, Mary. Why don't you do the cooking all the time? Oh, because it would break Hard Rock's heart. He thinks he's the world's best cook. Well, it was a toss-up between breaking Hard Rock's heart and ruining our oh. stomachs. We ruined our stomachs. That's funny coming from you, Gunner. You don't understand. Understand what? Well, we stick together. There's a lot of teamwork in our powder crew. Sure. That doesn't mean we have to ruin our stomachs. Well, that does it. It's a nice night out, Mary. What do you say we take a walk and get some uh, fresh I'd air? I'd love to. There we go. Oh, you're clumsy. <laughs> what about me? Is it our fault you're so slow? Finish your dishes. Oh, 
Oh, don't pay attention to him. He just wants you to come back. Oh. seems to think he's the only one around here that knows anything about explosives. Well, maybe he is rotting you a little, but you are new. And which side are you on? You must think a lot of Gunner. Why, he's just like my big brother. Big brother? Mm -hmm. Oh, you'll love that. What am I, your little brother? Sometimes you act like it. Well, <clears throat> that's something I'm going to have to take care of right now. You ought to know it's hard luck to whistle on a job. Oh, is it? It so happens that I'm not superstitious. Yeah, I know what's eating you. Yeah, what? You're sore because I took Mary for a walk last night. Big brother. <laughs> Ain't she a beauty? <laughs> Come here, Johnny. Come here, let me show you. It's got all kinds of new things on it. <laughs> it's got safety wheels, and brakes that'll hold, and a gadget up there that governs the speed. How'd you manage it, Jake? Nellie lent me the money. They don't make them like her anymore. They didn't make Johnny like her either. What's the matter? You two had a beef? Not exactly, but he's getting tough to handle. Ah, oh, there's nothing wrong with Johnny. He's a good kid. Nothing wrong with a little experience won't help. Now, just because Nellie staked you, there's oh, no now, reason just for... just a minute. It's more than that. Nellie asked me to keep my eye on him. Did you drill those holes yet? Yeah. That's fast work. Hey, Hard Rock. Yeah, yeah? Stop your gabbing him. Unload this powder. We're ready to blast. All right, boss. Let's go to work. Hold on. Gunner, give Johnny a break, will you? Set to go. I'll signal, Jake, that you'll be ready to fire in a couple of minutes. Well, we're ready to go. I got to hand it to your crew. <laughs> we didn't waste much time, did we? <laughs> okay, you let her go. Something's wrong. Keep your men back. If it's a misfire, it may blow any minute. I'll go take a look. Nothing wrong with the machine, or the wires. What's the matter, boys? The circuit must be completed. You tested it with a galvanometer, didn't you? No, I didn't. You didn't test the circuit? No, I didn't see any galvanometer. Oh. If it was any closer, it would have bitten you. Now we'll have to test every one of those dynamite caps again. No, it's my fault. Let me test him, Jake. I'll feel safer if I do it myself. Not yet, Gunner. You know we have to wait a couple hours after a misfire. 
tell Polk to keep his men out of the quarry until we test the caps. Meet us at the shack for lunch. Okay. Well, Johnny, got her tuned up like a watch. Listen, son, I wouldn't worry too much about them misfires if I was you. They happen all the time. Why don't you go get your lunch and forget about it? I'd rather try and find that short. No, I know you don't. If anything was to happen to you, Jake and me'd never be able to face Nellie. I'll never be able to face Jake and Gunner. Now, look. Gunner helped lay them charges, didn't he? Yeah, sure. Well, maybe it was his fault as much as yours. Ever look at it that way? No. He can make mistakes, too, you know. Well, you go ahead and get your lunch. I'll be along directly. Okay. It's funny that Hard Rock didn't show up. No, I guess he's still tinkering with that truck. Like a kid with a new toy. You said it might go any minute, and it sure did. Your men all right? Yeah, they're safe. Guess we can start getting the rock out now. I hate sloppy jobs. We might as well start packing. No, I got a funny hunch. About what? About Hard Rock not showing up for lunch. Where you been? Fooling with the truck. You notice the way them brakes grip? <laughs> I noticed it took you a long time to test them, too. Yeah. yeah. Let's pack. All right. How about it, Hard Rock? Would you like something to eat? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, um, Hard Rock. Yeah? Thanks for doing my job for me. You talk too much. Of You know Gunner. Oh, hi. This is Johnny Brown. Meet Hank Gibbons, the real boss of this job. Mr. Gibbons. How are you? Well, that's your problem, Jake. The highway will go right through here. You've got to have 20 feet more width on each side. It's up to you to blast it out without a cave in. You've got to go fast. Better fall the right way, too. I can't spare any time a man to dig us out of a dozen. Oh, that's Gunner's meat. He's done plenty of precision blasting. Take a look around. Mark your boreholes while Johnny and I unload. Get the drills ready? By just as well. We'll bore in about four feet. Four feet? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not going to be enough. Look, Sonny, I know just how many holes I'm going to bore and how deep I'm going to bore them. You heard Jake say I was in charge. Savvy? Okay. That uh, pile isn't as solid as it looks, you know. Now tell me, where did you get that brainstorm? Oh, it's got a sandstone core. I can tell by the outcrop. I suppose you learned that in uh, geology class, huh? Yes, I did. Get the drills, four feet. All right. If I lay yards, you find sandstone. That's going to throw you off your calculations. Get the drills and stick to four feet, huh? Not much of a joint, is it? We haven't been traveling in the best places, you know. I got a hunch you're sick of it, too. Maybe. Well, if Johnny told you he'd get you out of places like this, he's pipe dreaming. Johnny didn't tell me anything. Mary, what are you stalling me for? You promised you'd think over what I asked you, and you, you haven't said yes or no. Don't pin me down, Gunner. I, I don't know how I feel. Now, how about taking a girl someplace to dance? All right. Maybe I ought to sink a couple of 
some more holes around on the other side. No, with Jake widening the pockets, we don't need any more holes. Okay. Jinxed. Keep sinking those holes the way I laid them out, Johnny. I'll get the car and be back as soon as I can. Drilled into the core. That's sandstone, like I said. I told you not to drill over four feet. Look, why can't you be reasonable, Gunner? Because I know what I'm doing and you don't. I've blasted 50 of these jobs and I know what can happen. I'm not guessing. Now, for being such a wise guy, you can fill that deep hole and make sure it's solid. I laid these out the way I wanted you to drill them. Sure, and have the whole rock pile go right across the tunnel. Just because you're a dope doesn't mean I have to be one. I've had enough out of you. First job is to fill those holes. <laughs> Where do you taste this fish stew? Got the recipe off a of Canuck who used to know up in Maine. Where's Johnny? He 
said something about eating in town. All right, Johnny and I had a fight, so what? Why? Well, he wouldn't take orders. Johnny's going to be quite a problem. Maybe it'd be better for all of us if I gave him his walking papers. Ain't you forgetting Nellie? How's she going to feel about it? She'll feel fine about it. Well, I'm going into town to find Johnny. It looks like he might need a friend. Oh, I'm not hungry either. What's eating him? Well, you ought to know. Or ain't your eyes as good as they used to be? Ain't you gonna eat no stew, neither? Dog gunning a slave over that hot stove all day and nobody eats nothing. Them oysters was hard to get, too. Dog gun it. I got something besides oysters to worry about. Mary thinks I'm not being fair to Johnny. So I'm gonna put you on the spot. Me? Maybe Gunner is wrong. He hasn't been himself lately. Sore and grumpy. Jealous, I guess. Maybe. Tomorrow morning, I want you to take a look at those boreholes before we tamp in the powder. All right, Jay. I'll let you know what to think. Swell, thanks. Don't you like Hard Rock's cooking anymore? I hate fish. Oh, you boys just can't be able to. I'm going to clear out, Mary. Quitting? Yes, if you want to call it that. Oh, I'll hang around and watch the rock pile fall the wrong way. Then I'll go. Why? Because you took a beating from Gunner? No, because I'm sick and tired of being the underdog in Jake's crew. Anyway, Jake's only keeping me because my mother loaned him that money. That's not true. Dad thought you had what it takes and so did I. But I can see that we were both wrong. Go ahead and quit. Wait a minute. You wouldn't really care if I left, would you? Would I have come running after you if I didn't? Well, in that case, I guess I'd better go back with you. Well, Jake, I took a look at that job. Seems to me like Gunner done okay. Only, I'd feel a mite happier if there was a few more toeholds around the edge of the pile. Now, I may be wrong, but won't do any harm and maybe do some good. You mean that Johnny was right all the time? No, no, that ain't what I mean at all. Oh, all of you are sure sticking together against Johnny. Now, just a minute. Just because a few more boreholes are needed doesn't mean Johnny's right. And I'm not going to have my crew breaking up if I can help it. And besides, Mary, you keep out of this. Hard Rock's going to fix things up on the QT, and I don't want it to go any further. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Maybe you'll get a chance when the boys stop for lunch. Okay, Jake. I'll bore them holes and put in the dynamite myself.
clear this up. I told you how important time was in this job. How did you let it happen? Hard Rock. He's under that pile. Hard Rock? Well, do you think there's any chance? No, of... not a chance. All we can do is dig him out. You better get the men busy with the bulldozers and the steam shovels. We've got to make up this time or we're finished. Okay. It was all my fault. I told Hard Rock to bore some more holes and tamp in the explosives on the QT. Look at it. Fell the wrong way. Just as Johnny said, I killed him. Oh, wait a minute, Johnny. You know what happened. It was a sandstone. Hard Rock didn't know about it. The sandstone created a hot pocket. When Hard Rock started to tamp in the explosives, Did you know there was sandstone in that pile? Oh, yes, Jake. Yeah, but... I know. Kind of got stubborn. Come on, take me back to the shack. Johnny. Where's Jake? Jake? Oh, he's, he's in the shack. Come on, I'll take you. Hello, Jake. Oh, Nellie. I guess you heard about Hard Rock, huh? Bad news travels fast. The Gibby and Swanson were around the boarding house looking for jobs. I told them you could use them. I can use one man. You can use two. I came to take Johnny back with me. But Jake needs me now more than ever. I want you to fire him, Jake. Fire him yourself. You're my partner. But I tell you, Jake needs me. I've got a feeling you'll be next, Johnny. Please. Please, I want you to quit for my sake. Why make me worry like this in a job where you don't belong? You're wrong, Nellie. He does belong. He's a better powder man than any of us. He tried to fix Gunner's mistake. So did Hard Rock. It was too late. I guess I'm finished on this job. Just finished. No. No, you're not, Jake. You know, instead of using steam shovels to clear the way of the tunnel, we can use dynamite. Why, it'll save Gibbons a lot of time. Now, here's the idea. Look. We'll lay a charge here and plant a string of explosives here on this side. It'll clear the tunnel in one blast. Where are you going to put the explosives? Right over here. What do you say to that? Yeah. Yeah, let's go take a look. Job you did, Johnny, clearing that rubble with dynamite. Thanks, Mr. Gibbons. It can save you a lot more time, too, if you just let us go right inside the tunnel and blast. You mean without digging? Oh, well, we've got it all mapped out. If it's all right with you, we can start drilling inside the tunnel this afternoon. You in shape to work? Oh, sure. Where's Gunner? Oh, he disappeared in the direction of Brookville. <laughs> Holding up a bar someplace, I suppose. I'd better let you have one of my men. Oh, no, we'll make out. Well, all right, if you say so. Start growing. Look, Jake, I can finish this. Why don't you go on back to the shack? Yeah, yeah, as soon as we fire this next flag. Yeah, but what about your leg? Come on, come on, Johnny, we're wasting time.
Loose connection somewhere. Well, let's go back and test the caps again. Look, can't you let me do that, Jake? You're out on your feet. Yeah, I guess I am. Why don't you go back to the shack and take a rest? All right. Watch your step now, Johnny. Don't try to blast until you find the trouble. Don't worry. Just leave it to me. And stay off that foot. In there? Johnny. Johnny! I know I shouldn't have left him. Anybody working at the blasting machine? No, the misfire happened inside. You better start digging them out. He's pulling on it. I'll get the emergency crew on it right away. Oh, no, look at that. We'll never make it digging him out. It'll take hours. He'll suffocate. Well, what then? Johnny's in there. Yes, Nellie. But, oh. but he's still alive. Look, he's been tugging on these wires now. Take it easy. We'll get him out. But I've got to find Gunner. Well, why him? Because he can get Johnny out by blasting. Blasting and blow out the rest of the tunnel? That's one way to kill him. He's still alive. It's ticklish business, but Gunner can do it. Don't you think we better start digging to be on the safe side? Well, you can start digging, but it won't do any good. That air was bad when I left the tunnel. But it might take longer to find Gunner. Well, I'll find him. Johnny never would have taken this job if it wasn't for you. Nellie. Johnny was doing all right. He was going to college. He had a future. Now he's lying under that dirt, choking the dirt. I'll get Gunner. Try to force a pipe in there so we can get some fresh air. Right. <laughs>
back to pack my things. What's the matter? Get in the car and I'll tell you. What's wrong, Joe? We've hit solid rock. Oh, it's bad. Well, keep trying. Nobody's going to let me blast after the boner I pulled. You're the only one that can do that blasting. Listen, Hard Rock was killed because of me. Johnny's in that tunnel dying. Mary found it. We haven't had a signal from Johnny in 15 minutes. Get the dynamite, Jake, while I figure the layout. We have to use short fuses to save time. Sure the blast won't be too big? I hope not. I figure it will take two blasts. If I don't cause another cave in. Johnny on the wires. All right, Jake. Let's go ahead with the second blast. Now, it only falls the right way. It'll fall the right way. It didn't once. Oh, I sure hate to leave you guys right in the middle of a job. Hey, if you think you're going to postpone the honeymoon. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'll pick you up at the aqueduct. We've been looking for you. Good. Goodbye, Dad. Honey. Bye. Bye, Gunner. Bye, Mary. So long, Jake. So long, Sam. Gunner. Johnny. He'll never come back. Of course not. And it's just as well. You know, he might even go back to college. See, I was just thinking, who's going to do the cooking now? Oh, leave that to me. Oh, I have a certain recipe I want to try out on you. A fellow in Honolulu gave it to me. Now, uh, first of all, you take a, a, a baby octopus. Oh, 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 no, then no, you no, no. The... I'll do the cooking. Gosh darn it. Oh. 